Australia's free trade agreements. Australia has had a number of free trade agreements that we've entered into in, in recent years, particularly in the last 10 years. Uh, you go back to 1983 and the Closer Economic Relations um, uh, Treaty was signed with New Zealand, or CERTA, as it's often referred to. That was almost, as, or actually over 20 years ago, so almost a quarter of a century ago in 1983. Um, in the last 10 years, you've seen free trade agreements signed with Singapore, Thailand, the USA, Chile, Malaysia, Japan, and South Korea. Um, and of those, uh, the years there, 03, 05, 09, and 2013, are the years in which the free trade agreement came into effect. 2014 for Japan and South Korea is just recently, a few months ago, that's when it was signed. So they won't come into effect until later. Um, but for all the others, it's when those came into effect. And we need to look into two in a bit more detail. So I've attached um, two additional um, pieces of information at the end of this handout with um, the, Jap the, the Australia Japan Free Trade Agreement and the Australia South Korea Free Trade Agreement. What it affects, which industries um, are affected in particular, what the benefits to Australia are, um, details like that. And you do have to have a bit of an understanding of um, free trade agreements, and particularly the bilateral free trade agreements, because they're the ones that Australia has entered into a lot more. Uh, multilateral free trade agreements, APEC, the WTO, as we were, they haven't been as effective in large part because there's a lot of members and it's hard to get consensus. And so we've moved forward with a lot of bilateral free trade agreements. Is it just two countries? Is it two countries? Yeah. Um, generally, well, bilateral is two countries. Multilateral is more than two. And you have seen some multilateral free trade agreements work, so I'm actually uh, mistaken in, in that sense. But the multilateral free trade agreements that have worked are ones like um, ASEAN, or the European Union, or NAFTA, which are between 3, 8, 20 countries, not between 100 or 200 different countries. Um, and so Australia is, for example, trying to get involved in ASEAN, the um, uh, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so countries like Indonesia, Thailand, the Philippines, um, and Australia, New Zealand, China, India, South Korea, Japan, are all trying to um, tack on to that free trade agreement. Because it is a multilateral one, you can get much bigger bang for your buck than uh, just with a one-on-one -on -one type situation.